exactly and i guess we should celebrate small small wins and so you have applied in so many companies so many times like you yeah, never yeah, give yeah. up i guess your mindset is one thing that you know you can develop that you have to get through this even yeah, yeah. That- i would first of all really recommend this course to any pe- person who are like either in the college who are like trying to prepare for the first job or who are like new to this field who are trying to make the transition into the software development field and try to uh, get into a really good product based company Hi Ayush how are you Yeah I'm great how are you I'm great I am also good Ayush thank you So Ayush uh, let's begin with your introduction let people know you Yeah so hi guys uh, this is Ayush I did my graduation from NIT Agartala in computer science and engineering and I graduated back in 2020 so after my college ended I had two offers one from Nokia and other for Samsung so but due to the pandemic the Samsung offer got delayed and so i took up a nokia offer i worked there for like 3 months and then once the offer came back i joined samsung obviously because they were paying higher at that time so then when i joined samsung i took joined in the december 2020 hmm. so basically in the starting of 2021 i decided that i had set a plan for myself that maybe i will spend a year or maybe like 2 years at samsung hmm. and then after that i will be like switching to a company that will be like a better product based company and that will be paying me a much greater so i had a plan and so uh, but back in the college i did some competitive programming and i did some uh, dsa but i was not that much confident in like facing interviews so i decided that i should take up a course or a structured preparation i can get a mentorship somewhere yeah. that can like make me ready for the interview session maybe next year 2022 Sure. then i can once i am ready i can start applying for the interview so that goal i had and that's why once i graduated i took up samsung i work there and maybe i simultaneously was also learning at your course so yeah. while learning i gained so so many uh, concepts and then i uh, once my learning was over i applied to various companies and i got few offers from them so that was my whole journey yeah in a very brief uh, Nice, Sarah. You so now you are on your way to join PayPal as their SDE, right? Amazing, yeah. amazing. Uh, so actually, far. it's uh, their grade starts from twenty two. Yeah. So I I've been offered twenty three grade. It's SE two basically, software engineer two. Oh, so you are SDE two? Wow, amazing. That's that's all the more more amazing. Uh, great. So how does it feel now? How's the feeling? Yeah, yeah. So it's really a feeling that. Uh, As per my ex- years of experience, it's definitely a great achievement to be SE2. It's, I guess, re- it's really matching my years of experience. Exactly, say. exactly, and I guess we should celebrate small, small wins, and that's great. That's great, Ayush. So, can you take us through your interview and resume process uh, while you applied to PayPal, and how was the interview process for you? Yeah. So, once I felt that I had completed all the learnings at Renesa, and I completed all the lectures and the important parts that were important from the interview's perspective so i started applying for various companies yeah. okay before applying even i uh, like shared my resume with the mentors of ppa especially anu so he suggested some improvements in that like first he suggested i should change the template and then he suggested some of the sections sections that i can improve and add maybe so i incorporated those suggestions into my resume and then i uh, modified it using latex editor and then basically i started sharing my resume to my friends so that they can refer me in their companies or i even made a profile on the nokti.com and insta hire and on linkedin itself in the job section i started applying yeah. to various companies so then uh, i got few of the calls like i got calls from paypal then amazon then rccm so that's how like my overall journey was like so it it was not like that i applied to 10 companies and i got three calls i applied to so many companies even multiple times that i i don't even remember that the paypal i applied also through linkedin and i also got a referral so i don't know which one worked out for me so even the same for amazon also yeah so yeah so so you have applied in so many companies so many times like you yeah, never yeah, give yeah. up even if there might be some rejections in your way but you always kept going like you didn't give up 
on the journey yeah so so interviews for the first time for like paypal i had given the first time amazon yeah. sometimes that it was happening that in linkedin we have two options to apply either through linkedin itself or through just going to the job portal and then apply so sometimes even my resume was not getting shortlisted so that's why i was applying multiple times after making some changes probably that was suggested from the mentors and then eventually i think uh, the my uh, i was able to get some call from the companies and then eventually i had to go through the different rounds and good yeah so how was like the interview process was smooth for paypal or how were the questions it was more dsa based mm. or how was it yeah so i think the questions for the paypal in the online round it was a hacker earth based round the okay. questions were medium level hmm. one question was easy another was medium level okay. and i think it can be done easily by any person who like is consistent in dsa and okay. uh, yeah so and apart from that then after the interview yeah. so there were total four rounds were there and then the rounds were pretty smooth like all the process were i think three rounds were there sorry all the rounds were completed in a single day so the process was quite quite fast and the if i talk about the first round it was like totally coding based two questions were given in one hour yeah. and and the interview interviewer was also very supportive he was once time if i was not able to maybe come he was giving hints so mm. they were very supportive and the second round was both coding and some technical part like designing sort of rounds and the third round was totally uh, you can say with hm it's what it was technical plus behavioral so the third rounds were pretty easy okay. uh, actually i can say of medium level easy to medium level not much hard Mm-hmm. and the last round was we yeah, are it was quite interactive and it depends like how you present yourself with that uh, hm because the person who was taking the round he was like engineering leader for right. the paypal he was at a very high post so he was asking the questions that need to be like given in a proper way unless it's a negative thing for you so the last round was really judgmental about the whole things and so the rounds were really good smooth all the process was cleared in the single day and it happened on the friday and the, on the next week maybe on the tuesday i think i got the feedback that the round went good and like i have been offered and they were then deciding the compensation and other wow amenities great yeah so it was like you know it was faster it was faster, yeah, exactly good 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 so uh, you have been a part of programming parshala for a very long time now so can you share your thoughts kaisa raha aapki problem solving skills did they enhance after joining renaisa or how was your experience overall with programming parshala yeah so i would start uh, so from the point when i was uh, starting the course so first of all out of the samsung as i told i had a plan to like make a switch in one or a two years so i needed a structured preparation then i started searching for the course different courses on cora different courses on different youtube then because we you know there were so many there are so many courses out there it's like yeah. there are many courses apart from the programming part shala mm-hmm. so either they were not coming under my budget that i had in my mind yeah. or the topics that they were covering was not much under the same budget so either they were too expensive or the breadth was not there in terms of topic so fortunately like luckily i uh, came across the programming part shala either i think on cora or linkedin and uh, i was amazed to see the awesome reviews of that then i visited the website mm-hmm. and i saw that really the Uh, the topics that they were covering right from the basics to the like all the dsa algo uh, lld hld computer science fundamentals all the topics that i wanted was there and apart from the the price was also uh, very good at that breadth the topic the content that was covered so price was also really good so i like immediately called to the uh, anu and then i decided the price and then i just enrolled up quickly and so successfully there are some topics that are like mandatory for a beginner or i was not a beginner but yet we got i had some time so i want I, there was no problem in starting from the basics again just yeah. so uh, so some of the mandatory topics i covered initially mm-hmm. and then the uh, uh, like the pace of the course was really awesome so when i came a year back i think i joined in the february 2021 okay. so The, the website at that time the the whole platform was uh, like there were so many changes that was need, there were so many improvements that were needed to be made mm-hmm. like the ui was not that much good but the quality of the content was really awesome so they 
gradually updated the website they had so many features yeah. even some features i suggested on the book and they were able to incorporate yeah. those features and uh, the quality of the content was really nice and first of all they will teach you uh, the basics of the concept and then they will walk you through various problems and the main thing uh, i would like to mention about the instructor vivek Yeah. there are so many instructor vivek for us that are really professional they have a lot of tons of experience and they are like professional in this field they are really good at problem solving so it's really good that if we get to learn what they're telling so the vivek is really a good at what he is delivering and like starting from the basics he will teach you everything then he don't like for a problem he doesn't directly jump to the solution first he will provide you the hint and then that right, he will start from the brute force and then eventually he will optimize and the midway he will provide you the hints so there's a scope for you that you can just take the hint pause the video and then try to implement the whole thing yourself and then if you are in the worst case if you are not able to derive the solution maybe you can watch for further hints or maybe till the point till you are able to reach out to your own solution so that was the thing i followed throughout the course that that's why only it may take you a much time because they 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 like ideally it should take 6 months as per the course to cover the entire but because being a working professional so yeah. it took me like 9 or 10 months for me to cover the important parts itself so because i was following the same strategy that yeah. right from the brute force and then i would try to implement each pro- uh, problem myself after maybe hearing the question or if yeah. after taking the hints so that's why how the interview process goes on so yeah. one needs to uh, train our mind in such a way that either at seeing the problem itself we are able to derive the solution or just uh, by seeing the hint we are able to derive the solution so we should not like train our mind in such a way that only if we know the solution we could write the code that's the wrong approach so that's how they will encourage you to progress you throughout the course and if you follow that so yeah. they have lot of sections and eventually you will start uh, gaining confidence in every topic and also each topic has a curated list of problems so those are very important problems either homework problem assignment problems so yeah. if you like skim through all those uh, properly practice them on the lead course so eventually after uh, like uh, finishing the course you will be having around more than 200 problems on lead course so if you if you finish the course the way they say you so so at the end of the course you will be really feeling that okay so i have covered so many breadth so many topics and in individual topics i have so many problems so there is a very high chance that in any interview if mm-hmm. i appear there is a high chance that the problems that they will ask me mm-hmm. many of the problem will eventually fall into the play, into the problems that i have already solved so there is a high chance and okay. the problems that are there are already very good in terms of conceptual and right. in terms of everything so it's good that you have so many problems at your hand and then just covering the entire course good yeah yeah so if i speak i was not like 100% consistent myself yeah so yeah i was inconsistent at times and but i was able to my main goal was to finish the at least important concepts so could you complete the course like did yeah, you so, yeah so yeah uh, so there were many advanced sections Yeah. so for me so i completed high level design low level design totally but apart from the coding thing that there was certain advanced algorithms certain ts uh, advanced data structures yeah. so that part i couldn't complete because i uh, i like took guidance from the mentors and they told me some of the important topics that are very important from the interviews perspective yeah. so i should complete them first so mm-hmm. first i completed those topics and then i just maybe after completing hld lld i started just applying for interviews so the remaining topics i think i will be covering some next time maybe because they are advanced and uh, they are not required at this point of the job i yeah, guess yeah, yeah. good for you to keep up with mm. it but good for you at least as much as the course you have done you have already cracked your way into very good position so what has been your motivational factor that kept you going with the course and not give up like you were inconsistent but then you came back yeah so uh, we have so many motivational sessions in the ppa and uh, like the uh, anu is constantly telling that he has a very great data with them that the person who are able to complete a whole course they are, they land up in very good companies so the main motivation was to at least complete the whole course either if i even if i'm not consistent then also like i thought that 
even if a week or two week or even a month if i am not able to study properly then eventually uh, i should study and maybe try to complete the course even even if i am not able to complete a whole course i should cover the important concepts yeah. so the main thing was that uh, for me if i have not covered the, any if if i will leave any important topic so that will be difficult for me to yes uh, case in the interview so that thing i thought that was i should cover the entire course solve the problem that they have at least mentioned and then after that i would see how much i would love to take from there so the thing was the consistency is very difficult to obtain this is really to you know, we yeah. face so many difficulties but yes the main motivation is that uh, just to try because we are spending money there and then money is the motivation i guess your mindset is one thing that you know you can develop that you have to get through this even yeah, if yeah, times yeah. may be any harder than they can be but you have to be you know consistent and you have to go through this and i guess that's what even you went through when you had in your head that you know you want to complete the course and yeah so even like uh, people say that you should solve one or two problems every day so for me i was because i was i'm a working professional so every day at least i tried to watch a video complete a video but mm-hmm. i was maybe solving problems on the weekends so that was the main thing so mm-hmm. at least i tried to watch some videos every day yeah, yeah. at least you were doing something to be consistent with the course like you did not you know lose touch with the course and the studies that's great yeah rajesh that's yeah. great yeah, uh, but yeah sometimes even yeah. like uh, as i said i was inconsistent but i just resume back from the same point after some time so that exactly. was exactly. i was able to uh, complete the course on the time so that was the main thing benefit you can get it that's great that's great i wish so uh, i guess it has been lovely having the session with you and i guess so many people have got to know so much in depth information about even the course of your journey to paypal and the interview process and everything but before you leave any word of advice for our budding software development engineers Uh, those who are struggling as of now yeah so i would like to tell them that uh, i would first of all really recommend this course to any pe- person who are like either in the college who are like trying to prepare for the first job or who are like new to this field who are trying to make the transition into the software development field and try to uh, get into a really good product based company or a person who is like a already a working professional and he is trying to switch to a product based company so i would really recommend him to at least uh, get a course see it yourself take a subscription of 3 or 6 months and just try how you are able to like at what level you are reaching after that time so the the content is really very good first of all and eventually you will be in a very good shape after you complete the course Yes. and so even some people think that self learning is a very good way but i uh, for me i think that uh, it depends on how serious you are so even if we go to a gym and take a subscription so some people do exercises on their own and some people who are really professional and want to get into a good physique in shorter time so they even hire a personal trainer so that yeah. that like uh, the trainer it shows a right diet plan right exercises so you get the results in a very short time so in the same way any person who is really serious about the interview preparation and uh, really want to achieve something uh, into a good product based company so this course is really good for good yeah and i guess a little guidance does not hurt anyone even if someone wants to prepare on their own but you know when you have guidance with you i guess it goes a long way okay thank you so much ayush for giving me your time it has been lovely having a word with you and we wish you all the best as you join your new journey at paypal as an sde2 and congratulations on that also thank you thank you